Good afternoon. Welcome to the farm. Uh, we're, like I said, we're at the farm today, in the house, instead of being up at the homestead. And we're working on something for the wife today. This is a compost, a worm compost tea aerator. Make it out of old, uh, recycled or repurposed. It's, a, it's an old recycling trash can. This is a 32 gallon trash can. We've got about 10 feet of uh, square half inch PVC that we've uh, been laying around for various of the projects. And we've got the plans for this recording state, which I'll make a nice little scan and we'll get this on the, on the video as well. But this goes together real simple. What we did have to do is we had to spend probably oh, we're just under forty dollars for this project. We had to buy some special milkhead things. We're going to drill and take put in here. And then we're uh, got some PVC glue that I had to run out, so that's seven, eight bucks there, and then the actual air pump that's going to cause the aeration was uh, $19 from Amazon, and I can put some links up on, uh, on the video as well if you're interested in picking up your own pumps. So, that's it. Stay tuned, and we'll show you how to put this together. We've got our uh, spade bit on here. It's an inch and a quarter, and this is going to make our hole. We went ahead and started the pilot for it. Uh, it's going to create our hole that our bulkhead fitting is going to go through. We're going to put a little silicone adhesive sealant on the uh, bulkhead fitting to make sure it does have a good watertight seal and then we'll put our spigot on and start creating the inside so let me get down here and, and it's just that simple all right we'll get that cleaned up and we'll get the uh, bulkhead fitting on yeah. okay so this is our bulkhead fitting and it's going to go through our inch and a quarter hole that we created at the bottom of the recycle bin and we do have our silicone around it, okay? So I'm gonna very carefully get that in there and have my assistant try and get the nut started. <laughs> turns the other way. It turns counterclockwise. There you go. Get it on your snug. Nice and snug. Keep going. Spin it. Spin it quick. All right. We're on there. Good and tight. Next thing will be to add the uh, spigot. All right, so what we got is our brass faucet uh, spigot fixture here with a half inch, and the bulkhead thread is half inch. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Teflon tape, coat these threads. Once or twice around will do it. Put that back in my pocket. And then because this is plastic and brass, we gotta be real careful we don't cross thread it. Now we've got a spigot that we can open up and drain our worm tea out of. So let's get working on the inside. All right, so we've gone ahead and cut our PVC, and we got some uh, five-inch pieces here that we've cut. We've got eight of these. We've got eight of these 45-inch or 45-degree angle pieces, and we got some T pieces, all in half an inch. And we're going to go ahead and assemble this now with some PVC cement, and then we'll show you what the aerator is going to look like. And you can assemble this, I've been told, without the cement. Uh, I just think it's we're going to do it with. I don't want it coming apart under pressure is is really what I'm doing so a little bit of PVC cement then my 45 goes in nice tight fit 
Now I do have a one inch piece on the other end of this 45 I got to take out. I forgot to take out, I was putting it in for, uh, just as an example to try and figure out what my measurement was gonna be for my T-post, or my T-piece. Uh, like I said, these plans did come from the Oregon State University, but I've modified them slightly. So we'll get this assembled and I'll get right back and we'll show you the next phase. All right, once we've got everything glued up, basically you're going to make an octagon ring with these two T-posts here coming up. So our next step is we're going to drill some holes so that our air pump can actually aerate the water and the compost tea that we're making. And for that, we're going to use a 3 16 inch drill bit in our drill. And as long as I can get this in, that's pretty much it. We're just going to make uh, three holes in each five inch piece. And then move on to the next piece. See ya. Well, we took a couple shortcuts because it's getting a little bit cold out here. My camera crew wants to get back inside the warm house. So what we did is we've got our finished worm tea composter here. What we've got is we'll have the air pump connected to this little barb fitting here that connects to a coupler, which is going into, again, another half inch PVC pipe. We drilled some seven inch holes so that we can slide our PVC pipe through and get a nice, uh, snug fit. What you'll see on the inside is we've got two 21 inch down poles that's going to push air down through the, the holes that we've uh, drilled into our aerator or that little octagon ring down there. And we've got a center pole here which is actually going to hold our worm compost that will aerate through the worm compost. Next warm day we get, we'll go ahead and fill this up with about 25 gallons of water. We're going to use uh, some kelp we're going to use some unfiltered, unsulfured molasses, and then of course our own worm compost. And uh, we'll get this aerating, and in about 36 to 48 hours, the wife will be able to hook her hose up to the faucet in the front, and uh, we'll either gravity feed it, or I've got a solar power transfer pump that I've built and put together, and we'll use that transfer pump to get it out to the garden. Thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned for the actual composting. I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold 